Well, I'm not the kind to kiss and tell, but I've been seen with fire up. I've never been with anything less than a nine. So fine, I've been on fire with Sally Field, gone fast with a girl named Bo. But somehow they just don't end up as mine. It's a death defying life I lead. I take my chances. I die for a living in the movies and TV. But the hardest thing I ever do is watch my leading ladies kiss some other guy while I'm bandaging my knee. I might fall from a tall building. I might roll a brand new car. Cause I'm the unknown stuntman that made Redford such a star. I've never spent much time in school, but I taught ladies plenty. It's true, I hire my body out for pay. Hey, hey, I've gotten burned over Cheryl Teague's blown up for Rocky Welch. But when I wind up in the hay, it's only hay. Hey, hey, I might jump an open drawbridge or Tarzan from a vine. Cause I'm the unknown stuff. It makes Eastwood look so fine And from the looks of things, he wants to make Spike Matthews victim number nine. Brannigan with a left, another left, a solid right hand. Brannigan moves in. A left and a right. Brannigan drives Matthews back into the ropes with a series of combination punches. Brannigan very confident. Sends out a left hand, a solid right to the jaw of Matthews. Brannigan working to the midsection and putting his combinations together now. Working downstairs and upstairs. And he seems to have Matthews just where he wants him. Brannigan, calm, cool, and confident. Goes a left and a right. Slow down, you wear yourself out. Enjoying this battle. Solid right hand by Brannigan. Your win. Matthews back away from him. And Brannigan is all over his man, punching away with combinations to the body and the head. Oh, a right hand by Matthews, and Brannigan's at the ropes. Matthews advancing. Matthews has Brannigan. Don't fight it, the baby. Pummels him with left down, and right. Down, down, down. And in trouble. Brannigan's hurt. His legs are wobbling. He might go down. Brannigan against the ropes. A right hand. And a left. They haven't seen a pier six ball like this in quite some time. And there's the bell as the referee steps between the two fighters. Is that a gas, Lou? Next round, I'll put him away. What are you talking about? Your face looks like two-day-old hamburger. You're like a son to me, kid. I can't stand the slaughter of you. I'm going to throw in the towel, Leon. You're crazy. I'm in fine shape. I feel great. He's the one on the ropes, Lou. Stop worrying. I'm gonna win this one for you, just like I won the last eight. The last eight fights were fixed. This is for real. What do you mean fixed? I can't bear watching you taking apart. You're trying to protect me. But you don't have to worry anymore. This is my last fight. And I'm going out a winner. You guys still appear to be in great shape. And there's the bell as they come out to start the round. Trying to give it a left, and another. Brannigan appears very confident as this round begins, advancing on Matthews. Brannigan with a left and right combination, driving Matthews back. Brannigan appears very, very much in charge now. Mr. Brezen isn't going to like it if Brannigan wins the fight, Lou. When? He's just putting on a show. Solid right hand. Brannigan working to the bottom. Buzz off before they throw a net over you. you look a little hot, Lou. You better make sure a kid takes a dive. I know how to handle my boy. He ain't your boy anymore, Lou. You sold his contract to Brezen, remember? I remember, I remember. I also didn't expect to get Laurel and Hardy when I agreed to front for Brezen. 
got a big investment in the king. It'll pay off, because Bresson's got fights lined up for Brannigan for next summer. Left hand, another left, right to the body. Another left to the body. Brannigan, left to the right. Driving Matthews back, nailing him with a solid right hand. Brannigan with another solid right. And Matthews appears to be in trouble, trying to fight back. Working to the body, but gets nailed with the right hand. Brannigan working to the body. His legs are wobbly. Matthews in trouble, and Brannigan pulls him up against the rope. Brannigan building him with lefts and rights and the right to the jaw, and Matthews is down, flat on his face. I don't think he's going to get up. The crowd is on its feet. The referee sends Brannigan to a neutral One, corner. And two, now three, Brannigan four, hands in five, six, seven, Brannigan has won his ninth straight by a knockout. And the crowd loves it. Brannigan is a very popular favorite here in Las Vegas. And he was very, very impressive we did it, tonight. We did it. Yeah, yeah. We did yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. Come on, let's get out of here. I'm allergic to mobs. Especially when they're after me. This is a tape. A and B camera rolling. Action. All right, kid. I'm rolling in the truck. Get set. Okay, Howie. As soon as Jody passes you in the van, I'm on your tape. Got it, Colt. Let's do it, Colt. Coming alongside, Howie. Where's the anchor, Colt? There she blows. Colt, you okay? You look a little down. Nothing. Four thousand bucks and the new back wouldn't cure. Oh, the balloon payment on the truck. How's this? How about a second mortgage on the house? The third mortgage was a down payment. Well, at least I can help you back. Yeah, get me to my hot tub for a couple hours. Forget about the hot tub. What you need is the soothing touch of an experienced woman. Not tonight, Howie. Well, trust me, I'm gonna put you in the hands of a professional. But yes, right, good. Okay, this is not my idea of a soothing touch. Bear with her, Colt. Tomorrow your body will be totally free of pain. That's yeah, because tomorrow it's gonna be totally numb. Does it hurt when I do this? Oh, no, no, it's nice, nice, <coughs> nice. <coughs> I hope I'm not interrupting anything. Oh, please do. No, we're finished. You can get the rest. And if I were you, I wouldn't do any yumping for a few days. Yumping? I don't think I'll be able to do any walking. <laughs> Why the house call, Terry? Ah, do any of you remember Lou Carnesco? Who could forget the most obnoxious con man in America? They get him for this time. Uh, running a crap game behind a taco stand. Oh, and you bailed him out again. Well, I admit it might have been a slight error in judgment, but one that can be easily corrected. You see, they've spotted him in Las Vegas, and I was hoping maybe... Yeah, well, well, forget it. I don't even want to think of that worm. Yeah, the memories are too painful. Oh, come on, it couldn't have been that hard to find. Oh, finding Lou was no problem. Getting him out of Las Vegas, now that's a different story. Cole, that was a long time ago. People change. Yeah, well, in Lou's case, it's going to be for the worst. Last time, he nearly got us killed. 2,000. 3,000, all right, that's my final offer. Terry, it's been proven time and time again that sociopathic personalities like Lou Carnesco's do not change. I can assure you that our answer is a very definite... 4,000. Sold. doing? I'm still working on my first bite. This beef is so old, it's got varicose veins. More wine, sir? You call that wine? My mother used better vinegar in her salad dressings. We've never had any complaints, sir. Yeah, have you checked the autopsy report lately? 
Lou, why don't we just settle the bill? Bring me the check and don't get embarrassed. You want me to pay this or have it appraised? Here, and take 5% out for yourself for a tip. The service was underwhelming. Lou, you wanted to talk about something important. Leon, in two weeks, you're gonna fight Marty Boylan. I've retired, Lou, and that's the end of it. What do you want? Uh, you have a telephone call, sir. Tell him I'm not in. <laughs> Leon, you're not gonna fight again. You promised. I won't go back on my word. Think he's in there, Cole? Well, I called Brannigan a couple hours ago. He was supposed to meet Lou here. Of course, nothing involving Lou ever turns out easy. What do you say, Louie? Boy, you must be loaded eating a fancy restaurant like this. You were dumb, Louie. Mr. Breslin's very unhappy. You double-crossed a very important man. It's no good to Mr. Breslin if Brannigan quits. Mr. Breslin bet an awful lot of money on this last fight and lost it. On top of it, you walked off with the purse. 20 grand. It's all a misunderstanding. I just forgot to bring the 20 grand to Mr. Breslin. It's sitting in the back of my trunk of my car. Come on, I'll show you. companion Tonto. Yeah, well, you remembered, huh? How can I forget? But in your case, I'll make an exception. What are you doing here? Does the name Terry Michaels mean anything to you? Are you still working for that bimbo? That's terrific. Yeah, well, she revoked your bond. Good for her. For a minute there, I thought maybe Selma sent you. Who's Selma? The abominable snow lady. My ex-wife. Let's go. I'm ready. Justice must be served. Cole, are you getting that deja vu feeling here? Absolutely. I don't want nearly to get killed again. Let's go get in the truck. Here, Cole. Okay, Lou, who were the guys with the guns? How do I know? I thought they were after you. Oh, sure, you were running to practice for the Boston Marathon. Would I lie? Yeah, yeah. I try to go straight, and what happens? Straight? You wouldn't know straight if it was painted down the middle of the street. Who writes your material, my ex-wife? Yeah, where'd you find a woman that would marry you? The Miami home for the rude. Boy, you make one mistake, you never stop paying. That broad stole the best six weeks of my life. It wasn't that flu, that was petty larceny. You know what my problem is? I'm too good looking. I believe that bad luck. Johnny Green just fractured a third metacarpal in his left hand. We have four hours of satellite time, boy. Advance from the cable TV, plus all the commercial tie-ins. Where are we going to find somebody to fight on such short notice? You remember Rocky? Yeah, I'm already one step ahead of you. We'll give a local boy a shot at the title. Live in Vegas, we got the main event of the year. I'm talking about American Dream, baby. The chance of a lifetime for nobody to fight the greatest, me, the heavyweight champion of the world. Fans will eat it up. Everybody loves the underdog. Yeah. And now all we got to do is find him. What about that kid we saw fight on TV last week? Bam Bam Brannigan? Yeah, I like him. I don't know, champ. He's a pretty gutsy fighter. Gutsier the better. I don't want this to be a cakewalk. I want the fans to get their money's worth. Yeah. But remember what happened in the movie. He's no Rocky. And I'm no Apollo Creed. <laughs> I don't think we're being followed. What kind of bird brain scam are you pulling this time, Lou? Me? Scam? Seavers, did it ever occur to you a person can change? You could only be for the worst. Come on, let's hear it, Lou. Okay, okay, I forgot to pay a few debts. They want the money or my body. Good, then you'll be happy to see L.A. city limits. Before we go, can we make a stop? Plenty of service stations on the way, Lou. I'm gonna say goodbye to a friend. 
Where would you find a friend? You know your problem? Your mouth's got motor trouble. Listen, this kid depends upon me. If I disappear, he'll go to pieces. He's depending on you. He's already in pieces, Lou. Come on, it'll only take an extra 15 minutes. Who is this dependent person? Lou, what happened? Why did you run out of the restaurant at lunch? Ah, I wasn't feeling too good. The food reached my stomach. Lou, telephone. Me? Come on, it could be my broker. Yeah, Lou Carnesco. Al Prince. Well, uh, listen, Al, I've got to check out our schedule. Yeah. Alarm. Cut it off. Leon, it's the champ. What are you talking about? I'm talking champ like in Larry Holmes. What's that got to do with me? Holmes wants to give you a shot at the title. Leon, don't listen to him. Leon, this is the answer to all your dreams. The big score. The heavy one. Lou, I can't, remember? Leon, do you know what you're saying? We're talking millions. There's a chance of a lifetime. You can't quit now. What about your dream? Brenda, tell him it's all right. I can't do that. Brenda, what about the house you've always dreamed about? What about the security you want? It's true, Brenda. What else have I got to offer you? What about love, Leon? I never asked for more. I've seen what happens to fighters. We're talking one fight. One fight for the championship. And we've got it made. You know how I feel. Mind if we talk? You think he should fight too? It's not important what I think. The fact is, if you don't want him to fight Holmes, he probably won't. That's what I want. You know, you take away his dream, he may never forgive you. I'm afraid for him. I don't want to see him get hurt. Walking out isn't going to help. Now, would I stall you, Al? Sure, the kid is ready. Go ahead, Leon. Al, you got yourself a fight. Send over the papers. There's just one small thing. I want the payments in cash. We're on our way, kid. Nothing can stop us now. Lou. Well, there is one small technical problem. I won't be around when you're gonna fight. Hey, what's going on here? Lou jumped bail in Los Angeles. We're taking him back now. Lou's my manager. I'm nothing without him. I can't fight without Lou. I trust him. Believe me, there are a few people around as trustworthy. If I don't have Lou, I can't fight. I couldn't. Let's nail Carnesco now. Ah, uh, be cool. Too many witnesses here. We wait. It's no use, Leon. He never heard of compassion. Please. The fight's in three days. Let me work with Lou up, up until the final bell. Not one second longer. Then he's yours, I promise. Give me a shot. All right, you got your dream. Thanks. Come on. Well, if this is a side you I've never seen, underneath you're romantic. What is that, a proposal? Thanks for understanding about my dream. I know it couldn't have been very easy on you. I agree, didn't I? Yeah, but I know it's not what you wanted. I don't think there's anything else to be said. You're going to fight. Honey, nothing's going to happen to me. And when it's over, I'll be all yours. I only hope you're all mine. What's that supposed to mean? I'll put it in words you use. I don't want a man with a scrambled brain and a face to match. I don't want you ending up on Queer Street. Thanks, babe. Thanks for caring. It's your friends again. I thought you said I didn't have any. One of us is going to have to go back out there. I got a war wound. Do a remake of the Niven picture. Keep an eye on him. Okay.
wonder what he's doing. <laughs> Maybe he's got to fix a broken leg. When I run for the truck, be ready. You think it'll work? Well, I didn't picture. Then why don't I feel better? Father, I got just a place. Eden up in the mountains. Get all the gear in a portable ring. And let's go to work. All that stuff won't fit in this truck. Truck? This? You would look Carnesco, a class act. This hasn't been a class act since the Spanish-American War. How much did you pay for this, Lou? A hundred and a half. I can't believe you put our lives into a bus like this. It was either this or a hearse. Well, when they bought the gym equipment, Big Mouth Carnesco said they were going up to the old training camp. Ah, uh, that's where they're going. They'll have to come by here. There they are. I think we got them. Let me have it, Lou. Get out of there, Lou. Get him. Get out. and good the rest of my life. Who's gonna believe you? You ruined me, a bill and a half gone. and pick up all the pieces. There's money in salvage. Blue. What? Shut up.
I don't know who they are. Would I lie to you? Only when your lips move. That hurt, Colt. There's a lot more pain coming. Okay, okay. Those two goons work for a guy called Mel Breslin. He twisted my arm. He wanted Leon to take a dive during the last fight. I wouldn't let him. I don't care what happens to me. But I wouldn't let Leon take a dive. Would I, kid? How long has he been twisting your arm, Lou? Quite a while. Like, all eight fights before Matthews? I tried to tell you, kid. Yeah. You sure did. All eight of those fights were fixed. Present had us over a barrel. There was nothing I could do about it. About what? I wanted to protect my boy. How? I sold Leon's contract to Present. That's why I had a front for the bum. It was either that they were going to kill me. I'm allergic to death. So that's it. There's always more with Lou. Go on. I kept the money from the last fight. So give it back to him. I can't. I lost it. Where'd you lose it? To a bookie. You lost $20,000 on me. I thought it was a safe bet. We might as well all call it quits. Leon, this has nothing to do with Lou. You wanted a shot at the title, you got it. But you're gonna have to grow up. The fastest way to do that is to get Lou Carnesco out of your life. If I'm gonna fight, I still need Lou. Thanks, kid. I won't disappoint you, I promise. You think of something. Left, Leon. Left. Left, Leon. Good, good, Leon. Left. Now you're right. Save your energy. You would make a lousy stunt, man, kid. How come? Because you keep hitting me. Did I hurt you, Colt? Are you kidding? Colt can take a punch better than anybody else in the world. Go on, Leon. Give him your best shot. <clears throat> punch him. That's it. Come on. Yeah. Will you shut up, kid. You two kids have fun. And I'm going off for some fresh air. Go with him. He's sticking so close to me, I think I got fungus. Yeah. I always wanted a top rank fighter, Lou. Mel, stick with me. You'll be wearing carrots bigger than diamonds. The thing is, Brannigan's getting a new manager. And you? You're getting a funeral. Are you kidding? Leo won't get in the ring without me. I'm like his father. If he finds out that you're in on this, all you got is a piece of paper. Who do you think stopped the kid from quitting? Me! Okay. Okay. What the... Who? Come here. You give me one problem. One problem. And I fill a punching bag with your pieces. You sure it wasn't Lou? Positive. They hit him first. What's going on? A half a day? Where have you been? You're worried. Only that they showed you mercy. It was a present. Who else? I bet he wants me to take a dive. You'd lose. He wants a champion. I wouldn't fight for him. That's what I told him. What else did you tell him? I told him that Bam Bam gets a full share. What happens to the rest of the purse? We made a compromise. Present gets it all. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the purse for today's fight. In cash, four and one half million dollars. greatest boxer punchers in the history of the game. He is the original Sugar Ray Robinson. Oh, boy. From San Diego, former light heavyweight boxing champion of the world, Archie Moore. Hey, what are you guys, stealing my money? Taking it with you. Oh, take it with you. Hey, you look good, but Ken's over there. Great job. I've never seen so many champs before, and in person. Wow, this really takes me back. To what? To Princeton. I was the runner-up in the freshman intercollegiate boxing finals. Good kid, good. featherweight boxing champion of the world, Bobby Chacon. Here we go, fans, the main event, 15 
rounds of boxing for the heavyweight championship of the world. On my right, the challenger, the hometown favorite, Leon Bam Bam Brennigan. And his opponent on my left, really needing no introduction the world over, from Eastern Pennsylvania. He is the undisputed and undefeated heavyweight boxing champion of the world, Larry Holmes. Gentlemen, one clean fight. One thing about Brannigan, he's game. He keeps moving in on the champion despite the sharp combinations that Holmes is throwing at him. Holmes very much in charge, the crowd urging him on as Holmes advances against Brannigan and spins the corner on. with a solid left hand. Now you've got it. No one expected that Brannigan would put on this good of showing against the champion. Brannigan can take it, and he keeps coming back for more. You've got to admire the courage of this young challenger in against the undefeated heavyweight champion of the world. But Holmes, putting all of that aside, is very businesslike as he works against this young pretender to his crown. Driving Brannigan back into the ropes and urged down by the crowd, Holmes with a left and right that Brannigan slips away from. The crowd loves every moment of it, and Holmes continues to pressure the attack. Solid right hand by Holmes and Brannigan covering up and dancing away. In round number two, and the champion Holmes continues to be the man in charge. Brannigan is game, but he's overmatched. Come on, Bam Bam. The two fighters. When do we pick up our percentage? I don't deal in percents. You guys make sure you get it all, huh? You've got to admire the guts and courage of young Brannigan, now. Crowd urging him on. He's a local favorite here in Las Vegas, but that may not be enough. Holmes advancing, throws lefts and rights. Brannigan dodging. Brannigan is not going to lie down just because of the champion's reputation, ladies and gentlemen. In fact, Brannigan is a courageous fighter as we're nearing the end of round number two. Throws a right hand and Holmes slips away from it. Now Brannigan's on the attack, urged on by his corner and by the crowd. Although Holmes hitting him with disdain, throws a couple of left steps away. Holmes dodging and weaving as Brannigan tries to mount an attack. It really does not much avail. Holmes covering up nicely, dancing away, looking at his hand, throws a series of lefts and rights to the body, blocking a left by Brannigan. Brannigan, a wild right hand, and there's the bell. You don't have to take any more punishment, kid. You've already proven yourself. Take the money and run. Left eye, got a I'm going to distance. I've got to admire the we'll heart and courage of this kid. There's the champion. Calm, cool, confident. But you know, one punch and he'd be without that crown, and Brannigan can't punch. We all know that. Round number three. Right hand by Brannigan. Champion drives him back. Cover up, come on! Holmes is stalking his young challenger. The champion relentless in the attack. Holmes continues to pressure on Brannigan. A right, and a left hand, and Brannigan is in the corner. Brannigan is hurt. Crowd is on its feet. Come on, has his hand here and in the corner. Punishing him with left and right combinations. A rain of punches. And Brannigan is unable to respond. I don't know how much more of this punishment Brannigan can take. Just when it looks like he's out there, he's out new lease on life. Brannigan advances on the champion, throws a left and a right. Holmes looks over at the challenge, probably wondering why the fight has gone this long. Holmes moves on the attack. But around round three is Ben. The Brannigan all but knocked out, fought his way back, and now he's in trouble again. The crowd on his feet and roaring. Holmes drives him into the corner, rights and lefts, as Brannigan tries to cover up, looking for some place to hide, but there is none. And again, the champion pummels away at the challenger with a left. And right, up against the ropes and apparently helpless. The champion looking to finish him off. What's keeping Brannigan on his feet? is as worthy and game an opponent as ever fought for the title. And the crowd roars its approval, saluting both the champion Holmes and the challenger Brannigan. What a great fight, what a dramatic finish. Here's ring announcer Jimmy Lennon. Your attention fans, we have the time. One minute, 50 seconds in round number three. The winner by way of knockout, still undefeated, still the heavyweight champion of the world, Larry Holmes. Champion of the world, and to a game and worthy 
challenger from the champ, a special salute. Are you sure you're all right? I'll be fine, as long as I don't look in the mirror. For a minute, I thought you had him there. When was that? Just before the fight started. <laughs> I'll be right back, Severs. I want to change, then get the money. Cole, if it weren't for you, I would have made it that far. Thanks. Anytime. Hold it, hold it. You're not going to give me just that one piece of paper, are you, Al? Why not? Because I told you I wanted cash. Whatever happened to truth in advertising? The purse was supposed to be in cash. You want 250000 in cash? I wonder where Lou is. That's him. Oh. Come on in. Hello, champ. How you doing? Champ. Hey, yeah. how you doing? Okay. Champ. You some kind of boxer, kid. Thanks, champ. You're not so bad yourself. Mm -hmm. Then let's drink to your future. To our future. Oh. <laughs> Where's Louie? In back yet? From where? My office. He wouldn't take a check for your cut. He insisted on cash. and the money have disappeared. I can't believe it. How could he have done such a thing? Because blueberries are blue and Lou is Lou. Come on, let's get out of here. They went that way. They got the dough. Ooh. Ooh. How bad is it? I tripped and bumped my head. I thought they got you. What was this, a falling out of thieves? You really think I was trying to steal that bread? Yeah. yeah. Are you kidding? If I wanted that dough, I would have been halfway to Grand Canyon by this time. I tried to stop those guys from getting the money. Except it didn't work out. Why did you insist on cash? Because of Selma. Selma, as in the famous ex-wife? Selma, the famous ex-wife. She put a lien on my bank account. That's why I couldn't take a check. Otherwise, Leon wouldn't have got a cent. Oh, Lou, come on. I don't believe it. You doing something decent? Yeah. And decent doesn't always pay. Yeah, well, we'll see. Can't be serious. Dead serious, you deadbeat. Hand over the cash. Otherwise, I go to the cops. Present the fight fixer. And I know enough about that subject to sing two shows a night for the next three weeks. Hey, listen, my friend. You sound like you really got a death wish, and I'm gonna grant it. Don't give me the small-time threats, you two-time chiseler. I'll be at the club in an hour. Have the cash ready. Otherwise, Wonder Mouth spews higher than Mount St. Helena. Breslin won't give me the money. He'll try to knock me off. That's what we're counting on. Someday you guys are going to be arrested for impersonating human beings. Nice. Nice, Louie. Well, well, hello, Louie. So, uh, you want to make a deal, huh? Hello, Lou. You're a very hard man to understand. On the other hand, you're an easy man to dislike. Mel, if I ever said anything to insult you, I meant it. Funny, Lou. Very funny.
Okay, once I'm inside, you know what to do. Yeah, but what if it doesn't work? Well, they'll send flowers. They'll ask everybody to contribute to Lou Canesco's School of Charm. Yeah. Yeah, a private stock for Mr. Breslin. I'm to deliver directly to his office. I'd rather stay here. The sight of living people gives me a safe, warm feeling. That's an illusion, Lou. Let's go. You never know what to quit, do you, Lou? Where are you taking me? My office. What are you going to do, tie me to a chair and bore me to death? Uh -huh. No, just sit there, he's got the money in the file, get him! Step on it, kid. I can handle it. It's a dead end. How, oh, you got wings? We got him here, they're going nowhere. Don't worry, I'll get us out of here. Yeah, in a hearse. Watch out for my truck, Howie. Look at the bright side, Colt. It could have been worse. Worse? Even summer would have been better. Run 
Never wait, I'll catch up. What's this? Howie, you're not gonna try to... Uh... a little neon around it and make a nice sign. Colt, I don't think we'll ever be able to thank you enough. Don't worry about it. Better get Lou off the phone and hit the road. Uh, Lou? I'll get back to you later. Kid, I got us a hundred grand to fight Valdez next month. Will you get him out of here? Come on, Lou. We got a long drive ahead of us. Severs, after all you and I have been through together, are you going to let that broad Terry Michaels come between our friendship? You know, Lou, I was thinking the same thing. No fooling. Till I realized that we don't have a friendship, Lou. Okay, Severs. It's a shootout. Okay, Corral, you're not taking me in. Where's Kinesco? Where's that miserable little artist? No. Lou, Lou, Quick. I know you're in here. Out the back door. What are we waiting for? Friend. You owe me money. She I taught a pill of the hunt everything he knew. Lou! A vigilante takes to the streets of Los Angeles after his daughter is murdered. Death Wish 2 is part of our festive movie season tonight at 10. Next, though, the women flex their wily ways. Dr. Cassandra goes invisible and Minerva turns masseuse in Double Batman. 